we are just keeping it very relaxed. We're not going into downtown today. We are going to just hang out here and kind of show you what we typically spend. Um, you know, we got our coffee and our bread and those are normal things that we get, like quite a bit. Now we're gonna go head back to the house and um, take all this stuff there and then we're gonna go to the wet market and show you what we get for the wet market. Um, we're gonna uh, do some prep for dinner. And there are so many people out today. So it's many a, people. It is so beautiful today. Really enjoying just being outside without a coat. Yay! In the sunshine. In the sunshine. <laughs> that we got at the wet market and also our fruit stand across the street from our house. It never ceases to amaze me how much we can get for the price. All of this together was around 300 kwai or RMB and I will put the conversion down here into US dollars. But yeah, it's amazing because I never have to worry about how much I'm getting where in the past if I was in the United States and I was at the grocery store, I would be fully aware of how much of something and how much it cost. And when I go across the street, I can literally just put whatever I want into the cart and I don't worry about it. So yeah, it's really nice.
next day, I met up with my friend Nat. We had plans to attend an event called Ice Cream for Breakfast. My new friend Rebecca's family had started this tradition many years ago, and she'd brought it to Shanghai when she moved here. Now, every year, her and her friends organize this amazing event. And the great thing is, anyone can do it. You don't have to have a group of people. You can simply do it any day in February. Enjoy ice cream for breakfast with your kids or your loved ones, and then donate to your charity of choice. It's that simple. I don't know what else to do. Blueberries? <laughs> I just get all the fruit. And then it makes it healthy. All right. <laughs> This is a good breakfast! Nat and I had a great time enjoying ice cream and all the toppings for breakfast. They even had a vegan option. The event this year was really successful and raised money for both local and international charities. Comment below and let me know if you've heard of this tradition or if you're going to participate in Ice Cream for Breakfast Day. I'll leave more information below so that you can participate too. You may have noticed that I have not tipped at all in this video, and that is definitely something that I have had to get used to since moving to China. But I will say it definitely keeps costs much lower than in the United States. However, if you wanted to live an extravagant lifestyle, you could definitely do it in Shanghai. We choose to be a little bit more mindful with our money, except when it comes to good coffee. <laughs> <laughs> 